Hey everybody, it's Joe. I'm back out here at the Corpus Christi Lithium plant and it's been about two and a half months since I was here before and there has been a lot of changes and developments and you'll be able to see that through the video itself. Now, just as a reminder, I did cover this in depth with a six part series where I tell you quite a bit of information about what was going on at the site at the time, the preparation that was going on, some of the land purchases, and also the plans for late this year and into next year for continued construction and production. So I will recommend that you take a look at that series again to get all the background. But for today, the things that uh, I most noticed was that they continue to do work on the half of the actual plant itself that we discussed before. A lot of concrete work, a lot of uh, slab work, and some pretty detailed uh, areas of where tanks are going to be, which will be part of the production process. Now I'll show you a few comparison photos here in the intro as I'm talking, just so you get a kind of an idea of what has changed over the last uh, few months. But uh, we can definitely see that progress on that one half of the main plant. We also see quite a bit of other details around the site. The kiln and the cooler that are the rotating long devices that you see in these images uh, have not been moved yet, but the mounts for them are what we see under construction right now. So without further ado, we'll get into the video. I'll show you around the site and we'll talk our way through the video as well. As always, thank you very much for your support. I do appreciate it and have a great day. Take care. If you would like to support my efforts, please consider using these links, which will be in the video description. If you are interested in Tesla products, you can help yourself and support me by using my referral code. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons on my YouTube video as this helps as well. Thank you. We start off at that arch that says Tesla Lithium, and that is where the groundbreaking began. And I think it's a good starting point to also have a reference back to the video I did in August. And as I continue to pull away, this gives you an expansive view of the entire site, including these triangular water detention ponds. And they've also finished up a lot of the underground uh, well system around this area where they pump water into these ponds, also rainwater as well. And then this has been used to help with the dust control around the site. As I continue to fly along this part of the factory, we can get some good idea of the structures that have been added. We see a kind of a grouping of trailers in the middle right next to that arch with the Tesla lithium. We see that uh, rounded top uh, kind of Quonset hut uh, tent and that was there before but next to it we see a smaller rounded top uh, structure and that has been added since the last video. As I continue to get closer to this point here, we see the rotary kiln and the cooler system. Now, on my previous video, we watched this being partially assembled at that time, and it looks like uh, most of the work has been completed, at least with the main assembly. You can also see some of the rings around the um, kind of the middle part of each of the kilns and the cooler those are the mounts that allow them to rotate. And this is going to be added to the concrete structures that we will see later over where the main part of the factory is being uh, put together. And uh, again, we'll see that a little later in the video. So I'm gonna fly around this particular area and show you some more views of these kilns and then we'll reposition the drone and take a look at some other sections of the site here shortly.
now we will continue to move back towards the east section of the site. I'll pirouette the drone around and give you a good view at much of the grade work that has been done. There's also a lot of materials that have been stored in this particular section of the site. You can see that in the middle of the screen and also near where those uh, Quonset hut type tents have been uh, erected. And as I continue to pull away towards the east, this gives you a really good view of just how much of this particular section has been graded and has had the soil treated with that lime material that we talked about in my multi-part series. Now, as I continue to uh, move the drone in this zoomed in fashion, in the far distance, you can see those concrete large mounts. That's where part of the kiln system will be installed. And again, in my multi-part series, we talked about that in detail. It also looks like there's a water detention pond kind of in the middle of the screen filled with water. They have had a lot of rain here very recently. And uh, the water detention ponds look like they're doing their job by preventing the flooding over the main site. This is a good view of the contractor parking lot and also some more of those trenches that go from the north to the south connect the water detention ponds and allows them to be leveled out and not have one or more uh, flooded while the other ones are dry. So it's uh, kind of a maintenance system that allows that water uh, to be leveled around the site. I come in at this angle we see some of the items some transformers and other mechanical items that will be used for the electrical switch shard that at some point will be constructed on the site the road on the right uh, just past the tents you can see a clearing and that's where the new switch yard will be constructed as I bring the drone back in a little lower here you can get a good sense of all of these trailers that have been uh, put in and kind of added together as almost like one large structure. Looks like there's some sort of covered section uh, near that uh, arch that says uh, Tesla lith lithium on it. As I pan the drone up, you get a good sense of the main part of the lithium refinery that's under construction. And that uh, in the middle of the screen has grown significantly since the last time I flew the drone here. So I'm going to uh, eventually get over there and give you some really good close in views. But right now I'm going to fly along this graded section as well. It looks like most of the grade has had that lime treatment. Uh, to strengthen the soil and to try to make it less uh, susceptible to uh, accumulating water and causing it to kind of swell and shrink. And that's very bad for the construction. So most of that seems to be done. Now in this section here, it looks like there's a pit and they also have some of the steel sheets that have been driven down around uh, the perimeter, at least most of it. And that helps it to uh, prevent it collapsing in. It does look like there's some water in that area, but uh, usually they put this in so that they can do a subterranean uh, construction site. And it also uh, most of the time prevents groundwater seepage, although you can see that there is some here right now. What this is, I'm not really sure, um, but uh, it may be related to the electrical switch yard because this is in the general location where I think that is going to be installed. As I pull away, I will start to reveal not only this part of the construction site, but also how this is uh, kind of expanded onto the left. You'll see the fence line down the middle of the uh, uh, two parts. And on the left, you'll see more of this graded area. It looks like it's getting some of that lime treatment. Uh, and then on the right-hand side of the screen is where that uh, large warehouse type structure that'll handle the raw spodumene concentrate that is brought in via the rail system. And that will connect all the way over to the port and they'll unload the ships, put it on the rail, and then bring it out here. 
and then it'll be put into uh, the structure that's going to be built on the clearing on the upper right uh, and uh, then that will start the process. Now the clearing on the left is new and again I'm not exactly sure what that is as you can clearly see it's on the outside of the fence line. Um, on this side of the fence line at the middle and bottom of the screen uh, we saw this being prepared the last time I was here and it was just sort of uh, ground that was being uh, moved around. It looks like it's yet another water detention pond and that will match the uh, kind of the trapezoidal one that we see coming into view. And in the middle top of the screen, you can see all the construction, the cranes, and the work that's going on in the graded section. All of that is the main part of the uh, lithium refinery itself. And as we talked about in uh, part four of my multi-part series, the plan right now is to build half of the lithium plant, and that's based on the renderings that uh, we've uh, seen from Tesla. They want to get that completed and have the production beginning in early 2024. At least that is the goal right now. And then they'll finish out the second half of this site throughout 2024. Now, to be honest with you, from what I'm seeing and the progress that has happened between August and now, to me, it looks like they are somewhat behind schedule on that uh, goal of having some sort of production beginning at the end of this year, or early 2024. But uh, they, they still have, you know, about six weeks left for the year. So we'll see what they can do. But uh, my opinion, based on what I see, is that they are behind uh, to some degree. As we get closer to the main plant section, uh, now we see this slab that has been partially poured. We saw the screw type uh, piers um, previously. Now you can see that they are embedded within the concrete. You can see some forms for what looks like walls. And then this is a very heavily reinforced with rebar section. You can also see some recesses within the uh, rebar as well. So it looks like there's going to be some significantly heavy equipment installed in this particular section. And as I mentioned, you can see the formwork on the right-hand side as well, and that'll be some sort of vertical structure. There's some wall sections on the left-hand side of the screen also. As we continue to fly in this direction, you'll see some circular or hexagonal depressions and also formwork in and amongst all of these column bases, and that will be to support many of the tanks that will be necessary for the lithium hydroxide production processes as it goes from the kilns on the upper section of the video where you see those tall concrete structures. And then after it goes through that calcination process with the kilns and the coolers, it will then proceed into the middle section where it'll have a lot of tanks for some of the aqueous mixtures. Now this is a close-in view of the work that is going on for the mounts of where the cooler system, that uh, tubular cooler system that we saw will be on the left-hand side of the screen. And on the top of these two concrete structures with the scaffolding around is where the kiln itself will be. And then we can also see some of the steel superstructure being installed on either side of these concrete bases. As I continue to move the drone around here on the west side, this uh, zoom in ge view gives you a really good view of how the construction process is uh, uh, continuing right now. A lot of the work on the slab, and it looks like there are more mounts and maybe column mounts being installed on the slab. And also, again, the steel superstructure and the concrete bases, the very tall bases uh, for the kiln. Uh, when it is eventually installed. And as I zoom back out, this is a really good view of how this part of the plant is uh, continuing to develop. And on the left-hand side of the screen where you see the uh, kind of the small rectangular depressions making that uh, form, uh, that will be part of that large structure that I mentioned that will be a receiving warehouse for the spodumene concentrate. 
and it will be processed and maneuvered and eventually put on to conveyor systems that will go to the steel structure you see on the left and then enter into the kiln system and begin that calcination process. As I continue to maneuver the drone around on this section, this gives you a really good view of how more of the structure is uh, under construction from this vantage point. Again, the steel structure on the right-hand side, and this is where we will start seeing the rotating cooler system being installed and some of the concrete bases for it as well. Uh, we also get a good view of uh, some of the shoring. That's the wood material that you see in the two uh, sections in the right-hand side of the screen. That will be for cranes to be um, mounted or at least rolled up on top to help them uh, do the heavy lifting most likely for the kiln and the cooler and that helps uh, prevent uh, the crane from sinking into the soil by distributing the load. So that's what those uh, shoring uh, sections are in the right hand side of the screen. So I'll continue to maneuver the drone around and we'll see some more views of this part of the refinery system. <laughs> This is a good look from this vantage point of these hexagonal uh, depressions with the forms. And uh, this is going to be where large tanks are installed. So you can see how the bases are being formed here. You can see many of them throughout this structure. You also see some of those rectangular column bases as well. And that'll be some of the superstructure in and around where those tanks are. And that will help uh, uh, continue the processing of the material to eventually make lithium hydroxide. And once that uh, final material is completed, it will continue to move to the left of the screen, and that'll be where the uh, final processing happens. Uh, you can see some of the uh, concrete being made here. When that is all completed, the lithium hydroxide will be uh, bagged and then shipped out via semi-trucks. Uh, some of it, or most of it, will actually be headed to Giga Texas to the cathode plant that is constructed um, are under construction at uh, Giga Texas, and that'll help continue the processing so that they can make uh, the 4688 batteries uh, up at Giga Texas. So I'm going to uh, continue to pull away here, reveal more of the site. At the bottom of the screen, you can see the railroad tracks. This is where the spodumene is going to come from the port to the factory, and they're going to be making a railroad spur that goes up to that warehouse structure that uh, I mentioned that was under construction uh, near where those uh, large concrete bases for the kiln is located. So that'll bring to a conclusion the tour of the Corpus Christi lithium refinery plant that uh, Tesla is constructing here. I hope that these views and the discussion were helpful and kind of give you an idea of uh, what the state is of this plant now and uh, some of the other information uh, related to its construction. So we'll end here at the Arch with Tesla Lithium. And uh, again, thank you very much for your support and for watching. Have a great day.